So, what do we have here? Oh yeah, it's some new mugs. So first up, we've got the WS11 Machinery Shed. This is by AEN Design, 12.37 megabyte on download, and you're gonna find it in a construction menu and on the sheds, as you can well imagine. Now we've got two different versions here. So first off is the one that we've got down, which has got the door, well, the side door on the left-hand side of the main door. And then we've also got a right-hand side version. Yeah, entirely up to you which one you go for. Now there is the option of customization. If you were to press right stick in, that's then gonna bring you up the color option and you can pick any one of those and it's gonna paint the walls. Wow, that's a bright green. That, 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 that is a bright green color, but all right, fair enough. So you come over here and you've got the doors that open. So you open up that side. You've also got to open up that side as well. Plenty of space inside, no problem. And then we've got this side door as well. So if we come around here, and we're obviously going to open up that door as well. All right, no problem. Now, once you are inside, you have got this option by this light box to turn them on. Left stick in, and it's going to turn the lights on. Now, yeah, plenty of space for you to store your stuff. My second and last mod for all platforms is the Notchy Crossmax 600. This is by Vertex Design, 19.16 megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it under the category of soil cultivation and disc harrows. Now, there is one option on it, and it's going to be the design around the back for the what, the, the white and the red stripes. Was it the, the warning signs? That's the word. So you've got your design one, and you've got design two. Now, this is going to require 180 horsepower from your tractor, 6 meter working with 11 mile an hour working speed. It's going to cost you 37 and a half grand to buy. All right, so here we go. So we just come to the field. You press L, B, and A, open it up. Now, because it's a disc arrow, you don't have to turn it on. You just lower it down, and then away you go. Does a great job of getting rid of your tire tracks, I must admit. What's all about over there? No, it's not going to go over the mud that the, the shed's placed down, but all right, fair enough. 